Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can control servo motor using Arduino and Python. So this video is part of a Arduino with Python playlist. And uh, this is a two phase playlist. Okay. This is the first phase going on. And in the first phase, we'll discuss different Arduino components or different Arduino sensor and how we can use them with Python. Because if you are aware with Arduino, you must be aware of the fact that Arduino has its own language, which is very similar to C. I mean, it has its own ecosystem. It has its own ID. You have to install that ID and write the code there and upload the code from there only. So where did this Python come from? This is what I'm exploring in this playlist. First phase will be on how to take the components, the sensors and uh, trigger them or control them with Python commands. And in the second phase, we'll create some actual projects. We'll use these sensors. We'll use our knowledge that we have already acquired in the first phase to create some real life projects. Like, uh, let's say we have 10 to 15 plants and we put moisture sensors on each plant and collect collect the data and then apply some machine learning algorithms to create a perfect model for the moisture of a specific plant. Okay, this is just an idea. We'll create similar projects in the phase two of this playlist. Okay, and uh, if you want to stay updated with all the videos of the playlist, you can do two things. First, you can turn on the notification for this channel. I don't beg for subscribers. This is not my thing. If you want, you can uh, turn on the notification bell or what you can do is I'll provide a link of my newsletter in the description. You can go to that Google Forms and enter your email ID there and we'll use that email ID and some question asked there to send you all the relevant video links and relevant blogs. So if you want, you can do that. OK, so moving on to this video, first of all, we have to install one package. Uh, so open CMD and write pip install pi fermata. Okay, pi fermata, uh, not fitmata, it's uh, fermata. Press enter. And uh, I guess we have used pi fermata for our ultrasonic sensor video. And yeah, this is not the first video of this playlist. We have already created two videos. We have uh, explored two sensors. First was the ESP32 Wi Fi cam. And second was ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so we have used Pi Fermata, I guess, for the ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so uh, the package is installed here. Now what you need to do is you need to go to the Arduino uh, ID. Yes, you have to install Arduino ID. I'll provide the link of this uh, ID in the description. You have to install this ID. Uh, let me maximize it. Then what you need to do is you need to go to tools. Uh, tools manage libraries uh it will take some time to open uh then need to write formata here formata and uh this is the package that you have to install this is the library that you have to install this is built by formata team only and uh this is the version that i'm using so just to be sure select this version from this drop down menu okay so uh after installing this a small button of uh, install will be present here uh, just like this one, just install the package, uh, click close. Now with the packages being installed, let's get to our editor so that we can start writing our code. This video is sponsored by CodeTribe. Let me inform you about an amazing resource for learning DSA and to become a part of a budding community of programmers and motivated students who are working together to learn and become better programmer on daily basis. This is the YouTube channel GoTribe. You will find one of the best programming educators in the country who have came together to give you all top class learning content about data structure and algorithm. Now on this channel, get live and interactive classes, recorded lecture series and some fun session too at no cost whatsoever. And all this is available on YouTube itself. So you can watch as per your comfort. Also, they have created a brand new series on the dynamic programming, which will help you get well versed with dynamic programming in just two hours. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to CodeTribe and become part of a revolution to programming education from the ground up. 
all the links will be provided in the description so definitely check them out okay so we are not in a editor before we uh, write the python code what we need to do is uh, we need to go to this files uh, this examples uh, go to this formata and uh, standard formata okay select this standard formata file then connect your arduino with your laptop okay so i guess i have to show you the connection first so let's go to the connection okay so let's see the connection of our arduino uno and servo motor real quick so these are the two components that are required for this project uh, first is the microcontroller which is a uh, arduino uno I'll provide the buy link for both of these uh, products in the description if you want to buy the specific model that I'm using. And uh, this is a servo motor. And to be specific, this is this is SG90. Okay, it took me some time to focus. Okay, so the connection is pretty simple. There are three main wires to this: uh, brown, red, and yellow. Let me focus to this. Okay, so as you can see, we have brown, red, and yellow wires. The brown wire will be connected to ground so this brown wire is this black so let's connect this black to the ground so connect this to the ground the red one or the middle one is the VCC so it will be connected to 5 volt 5 volt is just adds uh, adjacent to ground okay so let me turn this now you can see 5 volt okay so i have placed ground wrong i guess these two pins are for ground and uh, just adjacent to ground we have 5 volt and then the last pin uh, the yellow one or uh, the orange one will be connected to the digital pin so uh, we are connecting to digital pin 10 you can connect to any digital pin you want these are the digital pins and uh, we are connecting it to 10th okay but you can connect to any digital pin you want now if you want this to be systematic you can connect this on a breadboard but uh, it is not a requirement okay uh, then connect this power cord to our Arduino like this and then connect this USB port to your laptop okay so this was the connection part now let's get to our editor so that we can start writing a code okay so now we are back from the connection so uh, let's upload this code to our Arduino okay so it will take some time okay so the code is uploaded as you can see done uploading don't be intimated by this uh, red color this is not the red color of error okay now after this code is uploaded on the arduino uno you can uh, now close this id and uh, let's see our code okay the code is pretty simple all the task is done by the package only so this is the code uh, so uh, we have to install Arduino servo and utils from a Pi Fermata. As I have already told you, this Pi Fermata can be used for multiple sensors. Okay. So, uh, we have already seen ultrasonic sensor. I guess it controls DC motor also. I'll just check that. And uh, I guess it controls uh, potentiometer. So, these are the sensors coming up in this uh, playlist. Uh, then we have time. We are... Uh, importing this package to add some delay then we are specifying the port okay so i need to uh, open arduino id again so that i can show you how you can check what the port number is port number is uh, actually the usb port on which you have uh, inserted your arduino no? so uh, just go to tools and here you can see this is the port okay so whatever is written here port 2 port 5 port uh, 50 whatever it is you have to uh, write that port here okay and then this is the pin whatever pin connection i have shown you now i have connected it to 10 the digital 10 pin now you can connect from 1 to 13 to any pins you can connect it won't matter then we are creating the arduino board instance so 
this board variable is the Arduino class instance and this is the port variable having our port. Then board dot digital pin, pin is 10, uh, 10 dot mode is equal to servo. So we are saying that, okay, uh, on this Arduino Uno board at the digital pin 10, the mode connected or the component connected is servo. Okay, this is a servo motor. Then we are creating an infinite loop here. You can have one input, two input, whatever you want. I'm creating an infinite loop. Then we ask the input uh, from the user, the angle at which the user wants to rotate the servo motor. And uh, if the X is one, the servo motor will rotate. The blades of the servo motor, actually it's plastic, but uh, let's say it's blade. Uh, the blade will rotate from zero to 180 degree. So for I in range 0 to 180 and uh, we'll call this function here. Okay, so just understand that this for loop is going from 0 to 180. 0 is the resting point of the uh, blade and 180 is 180 degree. Okay, then we are calling this rotate servo uh, function. So this is the rotate servo function. It has two parameter. First is uh, the pin, the pin at which uh, the servo motor is connected and then I, this I variable. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 180. So uh, board dot digital pin dot write. Okay, so we are writing on this servo motor. What angle? This I angle. Okay, this is I and this is angle here. So I angle and I is increasing from 0 to 180. So the blade of the servo motor will also move from 0 to 180. And after each one degree move, we'll have a 0 0.015 second delay. Okay, then this was uh, for 180 degrees. We'll do the same for 90 and for 270. Okay, so uh, if the user inputs 1, it will go for 180 degrees. If the user inputs 2, it will go for 90 degrees. And if the user inputs 3, the servo motor blades will go 270 degrees. Okay, so yeah, this was the code part. Let me connect Arduino Uno and my smartphone to the tripod and uh, show you the output. Okay, so let's run our code. And uh, actually, my sublime text is having some problems. So I have to upload the code from terminal. Okay, so I have uploaded the code. As you can see, the uh, LED is blinking and our servo motor is running. The, now let me press the first button or the first key. And as you can see, our rotor of the servo motor is rotating. Let me... Uh, Pick it up and show you. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit and uh, let me upload two here. Okay. Okay, let me upload three here and uh, focus. Okay. Yep, this is it. This was a short video in which I have shown you that how you can control servo motor with Arduino and Python. Now, if you want me to create a specific video on a specific sensor, then do comment down below and let me know what sensor you want. And uh, this is me signing out. Meet you in my next lecture. Bye-bye.